And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Coming up on the first pitch, starting on the mound in this one, Alex Wood. Chris, how about a scouting report? His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. Here's Trey Turner. The pitch. That catches the outside corner. And we are underway. Line and a base hit into right. That exception. The third base hit. Alec. And now it's oh. Alec Bohm. One oh. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Wood, a former All Star. He features a two seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a four seamer. And now the lefty and a foul ball. Runner at first with no outs here. Next offering is in for a strike. So far all we've seen in this at batter fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Next one misses, and the count's even at two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Got him. And that's the first out. Bryce Harper to the plate. Two homers in the game yesterday, so he's feeling good coming in. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, Chris, what a career Bryce Harper has put together. On the cover of Sports Illustrated at the age of 16, first overall pick by the Nationals in 2010. He's won multiple MVPs, multiple All-Star appearances, and a Rookie of the Year to boot. Bryce Harper has turned out to be just as good as advertised. Turner stands at first with one out. Now snap throw to first, and Turner's back in. Yeah, and has largely lived up to the hype. There hasn't been a more scrutinized ball player than Bryce Harper over the last 10 years. I mean, he's had a target on his back because of how well he did at a young age, but he's backed it up with a couple of MVPs and got his team to the World Series in 2022. Turner runs, swing and a miss, and it's safe. It's a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Going two now. One ball, two straight. And that is there. Harper frustrated. As he's rung up on strikes, and he lets the plate umpire know it. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. That one's in there, 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Now the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. 
two outs. And that's downstairs and outside. That one hit to right. Hanniger has a beat on it. And that is the inning. Philly strand one. And now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. Back after this on the show. Back here at Oracle Park. And today's starting pitcher, Aaron Nola. Tell us about him in that sub three ERA, Siggy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. And he's doing tremendous out there on the mound. Every time he gets the ball, you expect him to go out there and dominate, and that's what he's been to this point. We'll see how he is today. Now it's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. The pitch. Jack Swang didn't go. Ball one. When Nola was in college at LSU, he got a chance to play with his brother, Austin, who was the team's shortstop, and as well, his roommate was Alex Bregman. And that drops in for a strike. Two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. The wind and the pitch. That's ball two. Swings through it for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating. That's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Now it's J.D. Davis. Nope. And that one just misses. A ball no, and no strikes. Upstairs. Now three and O. Oh. And that's through there for a strike. And a 3 1 on the way. And he walked him. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Here's Jack Peterson. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. That's a strike. It's 0-1. And here it comes. Just inside off the inside one. edge. Left hand hitter waits. Yeah. On the corner for a strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. And the right hander deals. On the ground, left side, six, four, three, double play. 
and the inning is over. End of one, and we're still scoreless. Back here in San Francisco, and it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. The pitch. And ball one. Ball one, no strike. Check swing, but he went too far. And now it's even one and one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Into the bleachers and gone. A shot to left. And they jump out front. It's one nothing. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. The wind of the pitch. That one down the line. It's through for a hit. That the catcher. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto, the top hitter in the National League entering the day. And there's a foul ball. Chris, do you know what JT stands for in JT Real Muto? Of course, Boog. It's Jacob Tyler. Castellanos gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. Kicks and fires. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three-pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Josh Harrison. In there for strike one. There at the knees. Eric Summersgill with home plate duty in this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. One ball, two ball straight. one there. What about some no nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Conforto puts the squeeze on that one. Then there's two away. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys nicknames hometowns and as well hobbies listed just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit <laughs> that's great Brandon oh. Marsh the next to hit takes ball one oh. next offering misses two balls no strikes Oh. 
That one the other way. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. Back here at the ballpark, bottom go, half of inning number right two, and now the right, right fielder, right. Mitch Hanniger. Noel is a guy who registers a lot of strikeouts. In fact, he's had 220 or more strikeouts in three different seasons. Here comes a pitch. Breaking ball through there for a strike. And one thing about Nola Boog, just outstanding command, really sets up that breaking ball to expand the zone to get hitters for that swing and miss. You think about it, in 2022, he walked 29 guys in 205 innings. That's pretty incredible. 0-2 now. One ball, two strikes. The wide to kick the pitch. Two two now. Let's go, Giants! Foul ball, another two two upcoming. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Next one off the plate inside. Full count three and two. Three. Struck him out looking. And that'll bring up Brandon Crawford. Boom, makes the catch. Two down. Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick Park and then at, what was it initially, Pac Bell Park. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. And he takes a strike. Pitch is in there. One and two. One ball, two strikes. That one missed. Two balls, two strikes. Two, two now. And he chases that one. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's Turner now. Trey. Turner measures six feet, two inches, 185 pounds, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. Good eye right there. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. Outside. And a 2-1 hammered, but foul. Good eye in that spot. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Digging in, Alec Bohm. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That one outside, and that's ball one. Bohm, in his third season, 26 years old. He's been scoring a lot of runs lately. He scored nine times in the last ten games. 
and he deals. Turner runs. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Turner on at first. Nobody out. Next pitch has popped up. Brings it in. And there's one away. And now here is Harper. Chris Bryce Harper would be one of the guys considered a face of baseball. He was also a face on the cover of MLB The Show back in 2019. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Not a bigger or better game than that, and kids love playing it. I like playing it after we finish here. Yeah, I like the announcers. Over to first, and he's safe. And the pitch. And it's even up. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And now 2-1 and one after that missed inside. Wood over to first. Throws it away! Next pitch inside. Three balls and a strike. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Harper tries to check his swing. Now we'll look to third. No swing. Well, oh, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber. He's over one. And first offering is fouled off. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Guy out there sees a power hitter take that kind of swing. He's got to be thinking, is this guy trying to set me up? Now let's see if he can make an adjustment. In the air out towards right center. Yastrzemski under it. Makes the catch. Runner tags and will move up to third. The relay. And he's out. Cut down and that ends the inning. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning. Bottom of the inning. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Nola back to work. Can't glove it cleanly. To first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. The batter will be Michael Conforto. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Swing and a foul straight back. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, nope. and I think it's oh, wow. very important today when everything is under the microscope. Right-hander kicks, deals. Snags the liner back to the mound. Throws to first, and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Roberto Perez stand again. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. Ball 
hole that time. And the 1 0. -oh. Good oh, eye right out. there. That's Misses over. with the 2 0, -oh, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. That's in there, and it's three and one. Lifted in the air, right center field. Marsh makes the grab, and that is that. Giants down in order, and it remains one nothing. And welcome back onto the fourth. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. The wind of the pitch. And there's a ball. You know, these Phils doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. And that one finds its way through. And the leadoff man aboard. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Nicholas Castellanos, and he's already singled in this game. Ground ball, left side. To second, there's one. How about that double play? JT Real Muto steps in. Struck out swinging his first time. Next pitch downstairs, and it's 1 0. JT Real Muto singing has turned into arguably the top catcher in all of baseball. He's won multiple gold gloves, multiple silver sluggers, same story, multiple times an all star. This guy is fun to watch. No strike. Ground ball right side. Throw to first is in time. And Real Muto is out. And the inning is over. Back here at Oracle Park, Tyro Estrada to the plate. The second base. pitch out to center and Estrada is out one down third base number seven. JD. now it's JD Davis worked a walk in his first trip to the plate Next offering is down low. One and oh. That one is upstairs. The Giants hitless so far in the game. That clips the corner. To the right side, Hoskins handles the chance, tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And a couple of quick outs. Oh, good fade and sinking action of that change. I've got that hitter to roll over. And Jack Peterson stands in. He hit it to a double play his first time up. In there at the knees. 0-1. Looked like it was a little bit up. It's 
swings and misses. And the count is one and two. And the righty deals. Peterson checks his swing, appeal to third, did not go. Righty to the plate. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two-two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat too much on that one. Giants are down one, two, three. They are down one nothing. Back here in San Francisco. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Josh Harrison. And a pitch. Hey. And there's the strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Kicks and deals. The other way, and it goes just foul. And now the lefty on the ground. And foul ball. The pitch. And now one and two. Fouls it off, still one and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Way inside, gets out of the way. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And here it comes. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate, 0 for 1 so far. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Strike one. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Here's a 1 1. On the ground, right side. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Now that shortstop, Trey Turner. So the Philly batting order turns over. Trey Turner now. You know, people may not remember about Trey Turner. He was actually drafted in the first round out of NC State by the Padres. Made his debut in 2015 with the Nationals. Won it all with Washington in 2019. He's been an all-star multiple times. And, of course, he's won a batting title. The 0-1. And Turner's been part of some big trades. It originally started with the Padres as he was a player to be named later that ended up with the Washington Nationals, then traded over to the Dodgers with Max Scherzer in 2021. Two outs. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Here's a one-two. And that one almost got him. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. 
Three up, three down for Philadelphia, but they still lead it one nothing. Back here at the ballpark, now batting Mitch Hedinger. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. First pitch, just misses. Yeah, that's too high. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. That one missed, now 3-0. and oh. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff ball. There's the strike, 3-1. and one. They say you win. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. He held up just enough. That's ball four. That's a nice at bat and a great take on three two. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. No outs. Runner at first. Here's Crawford now. Open stance on that left side. Going one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. That misses the zone. One and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Left-hand hitter waits. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One away. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Went down on strikes his first time through. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. First pitch fastball, a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. So here's Wade now. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Inside gets out of the way. One out. Runners at first and second. That one ripped. Put the extra bases. Headed for the plate. One runs in. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The relay. Tag. Not in time. Safe. And a 2 1 ball game now. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. One down. And here is Michael Conforto. Grounded out his first time. Ball one, no strikes. Runner at second here, one gone. On the ground, right side, and that's just foul. At the belt and fires. That's Ball, down and in. Two balls, one strike. Line 
drive base hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. <laughs> so important to get into the fielding position after you deliver that baseball. That is a scary one. Watch your lips. And here's the catcher, Roberto Perez, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. There's a strike. Wade, the runner at third. Conforto over at first, so going away. On the ground, two ball. The throw is wild, and it gets away. And now, Tyro Estrada. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Holy Toledo! His second of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 6-1. when a breaking ball like that leaves the hand right down the middle of the plate and it's like the pitcher screaming no and the hitter saying yes and the ball gets tattooed for a big home run and the Phillies manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move Aaron Nola's day comes to an end we'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound A new arm into the game, the righty, Nick Nelson. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Nick Nelson. J.D. Davis, the next giant to hit. First offering, and it just misses. One down, base is empty. Just missed. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Matt Strom getting ready to go. Soto, the power lefty, up as well. The pitch. That's inside. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. And the 3-1. Three 3-1, one. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. And now Jack Peterson. That takes low for ball one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Nope. Just missed. Left-hand batter waits. Ball three. three Still out. only one out here in the inning. And a four-pitch walk. They just keep handing out gifts, boo. Or are we supposed to bring something? See, I think just our presence Hanager. is the present. At the play, Mitch Hanniger, he's 0 for 1. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, 
perhaps is going to be in the rotation. You know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. There it was, a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Oh, the next boy. offering misses, and it's a ball and a strike. Boy. Runners at first and second with one gone. In for a strike, and a count one and two. Just misses with that one. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And it hits the fence. Everything came together for him. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. So the bases are loaded here. One man gone. Brandon Crawford, the next giant to hit. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. You know, Chris, Brandon Crawford made his big league debut May 27th, 2011 at Milwaukee. And he hit a grand slam in his big league debut. You no, know, one thing I've always admired about him is his ability to handle left-handed pitching. Stays in the big part of the field and just has a nice swing path. Stays in the zone a long time. Harper makes the catch. Both runners tagging from second and third. He's in to score on the sack fly, and it's now a six-run lead. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And up next for the Giants, Mike Yastrzemski. And that's in there for strike one. Corners are occupied with two down. And one and two. Two strikes. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Boom. Settles underneath it. And that's the third out. But they take the lead on a huge seven-run outburst. We're through five. It's the Giants seven and the Phillies one. Welcome back. Here's a big power threat. Alec Boehm. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills the range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass. Oh, gets dirty. Fires to first, and they get the out. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. Here's Bryce Harper. That pitch in for a strike, and that's strike one. Next offering way off the plate. Chris, you think about memorable performances in the home run derby. Well, the Nationals had the All-Star game in 2018, and Bryce Harper, with his dad throwing to him, put on quite a performance and won the home run derby. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, and a foul ball. Yeah, probably the biggest moment in Nationals Park for Harper, and he would have loved that to have been a World Series appearance, but... It was an all-star game and a home run derby where he just took the crowd by storm. Fires across the diamond. Harper oh, retired. The left the left field. Field. Kyle Schwarber. So two down now, and here is Kyle Schwarber. Hey. 
in there, and it's 0-1. Schwarber, 30 years old now, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. And that's a base hit. And that extends the inning. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And yeah, the batter now, Reese Hoskins. Nope. Nope. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Schwarber off of first with two away. Hey. And it's one and one. Movement in the bullpen. One ball, one Jacob play. Junis up and throwing for Gabe Kapler. Di Sclafani getting loose as well. That's Next four. pitch misses. And a count two and one. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Crawford with a relay throw, not gonna get him, he's in there. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. So now the DH spot, Nick Castellanos. That's in there. Strike one. Castellanos measures six feet, four inches. A member of the 1,000 hit club. He joined the team as a free agent. The pitch. In the air, left field, down the line. And that is a foul ball. Clearly he was geared up for the fastball right there. Maybe got a little jumpy and excited out of the hand, but he certainly didn't miss a stitch. Two on, two outs. To the right side. Gathers and throws to first. And Castellanos is out. That's out number three. Two left on. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Giants seven and the Phillies one. And welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Lamont Wade Jr. Nelson goes six foot one, 205 pounds, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2016. First offering misses the mark. All these Giants showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. One thing that really stands out is their chase rate. League average is around 30%, but they're at less than 20% right now. Next offering way upstairs. It's been tough fooling these guys, and those chase rate numbers back it up. They've been really smart at the plate, and that's one of the best ways to frustrate a pitcher because nothing seems to come easy. The wind and the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the wall. The left field, eight, eight. And at first, Michael Conforto, the next giant to hit. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. And down on strikes. And one out now. And now the catcher comes up to him. Roberto Perez. In the air to left center. 
Marsh calls it in two away. Back to the leadoff oh, spot of the going. Giants lineup. Tyro Estrada, the next Tyro. Giant to hit. He's already homered in this game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Wade leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch misses inside. Two and oh. And that one off the outside edge. Right handed reliever. And that one is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Stays alive. So now two on and two outs. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets the a walk. Seven. Here's the third baseman, J.D. Davis. So I ain't saving you a clean house. Do you think that's just a statement? Then you lose a Chris like it's word of mouth. I knew. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Pitch misses, and now 2-0. Oh. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The 2-0 -oh is in for a strike. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Giants leave a couple, and they're on top 7 1. Concentrating my balance, give life a better chance. I'm too involved in God, not television. According to his purpose, not somebody else's. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Jacob Junis. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. And now it is JT Real Muto. The wind of the pitch. And it's fouled away. Well, these Phillies, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They really haven't worked many deep counts or long at-bats, and that's fine if you're having a lot of success, but at this point, I think it's time to make an adjustment. Here's the 0-2. Ball one, one ball. there. Two straight. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. Josh Harrison stands in for the Phillies. Harrison having a lot more success on the road this season. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. On the ground, right side. The throw to first, and two away to start the seven. The center fielder, number 16, Brandon. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the center fielder, Brandon Marsh.
Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. Slider clips the zone. That one out to right. And that'll do it. Phillies down in order. They're down seven to one. The left-hander on now, Matt Strom. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. And digging in for San Francisco, Jack Peterson. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And he deals. And that's in for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. And a pitch. And fouled off. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Yeah, with two strikes here, you really want to miss outside the zone with that breaking ball. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Marsh racing over to make the catch. Now that one, the right field. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Mitch Hanniger. One for two. In the air, right field. And they take care of Hanniger for the out. And there's two down. The batter number 35. Shortstop, Brandon. Here's Brandon Crawford. And that's in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Andrew Bellotti, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Next offering is foul back. And the 0-2. Ball, that's out. Now fly ball to right center. Can't get their base hit. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. So, man aboard. And now the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. One for three. Fastball oh, almost got him there. Crawford stands at second with two gone. Here's a 1-1. One, one. 
That's a slider for a strike. The one two. That one, two. one just misses. It's a good take. In the air, left field. And it jumps the wall in foul territory for an automatic double. And a run comes in to score. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run. And that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. And here is Lamont Wade Jr. Just missed. The one on. Swing and a pop up in foul ground, and that's a foul ball. pitch and another ball he's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound getting hit around a little bit let's see if he can settle himself down and a 2-1 on the way and downstairs Here comes a pitch. And that's ball four. Michael Conforto will climb in. And that one fouled off. Next pitch misses outside at one and one. Pulls that one foul. And a pitch. That oh, misses the zone. Two and two. Fights it off. You'll see another. The next pitch misses, and the count's full. First and second, two down. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. So up next, Roberto Perez. And first offering is fouled off. That one pushed foul. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. That one the other way. Makes the catch inning over. 
So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Giants eight and the Phillies one. Back here at Oracle Park, Trey Turner at the plate. Trey Turner. Junis back to work. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. There's a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. No play. That's an infield single. Now that and now for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. That one's in there. That's strike one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Jack swing and he held up. Swing and a miss. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. And the right hander deals. Fly ball down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The right field, number three, Bryce Harper. Man at first. Here's Harper now. Nope. Just That's missed. Ball. Turner leads off first with one away. Ground ball could be two. Wade tossed the second. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. This one pretty well decided at this point. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Giants eight and the Phillies one. So they turn to Craig Kimbrell. He last pitched two days ago. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for Philadelphia, number 31, Craig Kimbrell. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. He's already homered here in this one. And a pitch. There's a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Andrew Bellotti getting loose out there. And strike two. The 0-2. Left field. Schwarber settles under it. He's there. He's got it. And there's one away. Number seven. And up next for San Francisco, J.D. Davis. There's a strike. Right hander kicks deals. And oh, now it's right even there. up. Yeah. 
And the righty deals. Swings here and blasts one left field. Schwarber ranges back. Racing back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Peterson at the plate now. That's ball one. And that one fouled off. And a 1-1. Fouls one off out of play. Back to our left. Kicks and deals. Whoa, that's up there. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. Inning over. Three up, three down that time. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Giants eight and the Phillies one. Back here at the ballpark. And the batter down. Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. And the right hander back to work. And a foul ball. And he'll one. Nope, that's down. And that one clips the corner. And now the count is even. Why the kick the pitch? Goes down looking. The first baseman. And now the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. That clips the corner. Righty delivers. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Off the outside edge and now the count is two and two. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. And next is the designated hitter, Nick Castellanos. Castellanos. First offering misses the mark. And that's a little high. Two ball, no fight. There's a strike, and it's two and one. One strike. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss.
On the ground to the left. On the run, sends it over to first. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Giants take this one in a blowout. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. And this one finishes with a final of 8-1. to one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.